Hello, uh, this is T with Tim, and uh, the, the the day is turning into a very Russian day. Um, you remember Alexei Navalny, who's now uh, doing a sentence of two and a half years in prison. Um, why? Well, he returned to Russia after surviving an assassination attempt, uh, probably arranged by the Russian authorities, uh, and he's convicted of failing to attend routine police meetings because he was out of the country in hospital recovering from um, what appears to be a, um, a, a, a serious poisoning um, in Germany and this, um, and this trip to hospital to life-saving treatment was um, uh, incidentally with the permission of the president himself. This is probably one of the most bizarre uh, cases um, in, 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 in modern Russian history. Anyway, uh, his supporters are gradually being rounded up and equally being um, gifted very strange sentences which defy logic. There's a lady called uh, Lyubov Sobal. Now, she's a sort of um, ad hoc spokesperson for um, Navalny, uh, but she's also uh, she, she she also planned to stand for the Duma elections herself. Um, now, uh, since um, protests about Navalny, she's been under house arrest, um, and with Navalny's brother, uh, she's been facing a, um, a a court case herself and a sentence. Now she's just had her sentence uh, given to her, which is going to be one and a half years of house arrest with her being unable to leave her house in the evenings. Um, and she's interpreted this. She says the sentence doesn't begin until next week. She's interpreted this as um, an opportunity for exile. So she's left the country, um, according to the radio station where she uh, has just given a, an interview, um, uh, Echo Moskvi. Um, uh, she's, um, she's gone to Turkey. Um, but she says, uh, you know, um, the sentence uh, comes into effect next week and can be interpreted as exile. Meanwhile, Navalny's organisation has been branded as extremist. Um, and there's, a, th th there's another person, uh, Kim uh, Yarmish, who, who really is Navalny's spokesperson. She's got six months house arrest. Um, and on what grounds is this house arrest for both um, uh, Lyubov and... Um, Kim, it's because they have um, fallen foul of the COVID regulations. Um, so this borders on, uh, well, you couldn't make it up, really, could you? Um, and, and there are other um, organisations like Project and Commander 29, Team 29, which is a legal defence team um, that's been closed down, and the Project, which is... Um, uh, 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 an organisation which does investigative reports is also being closed down. Now, um, Lev uh, Schlossberg, um, who's an MP in, in, in the Russian parliament, says that uh, Russia is becoming a gulag nation, and he seems to me to be quite right. We need... So every single nation needs a... Um, a vibrant opposition. Uh, power needs to be questioned if it's going to be effective. And if it's not questioned, it becomes tyrannous and chaotic um, and, uh, and abusive. And um, I'm afraid this is, uh, this is probably what we're seeing in Russia at the moment. I, uh, I, I'll assemble a little more material and, um, and report back later. Um, but for now... Have a nice cup of tea and um, maybe a scone. A scone would be very nice. Have fun.